number one and most importantly is to say sorry and say that I'm, you know, it's it was a huge regret of mine, of course. A former U of I basketball star is apologizing to the campus Jewish community after saying an anti-Semitic slur almost a year ago. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Myers Leonard was back on campus yesterday. He made it a point to visit the U of I Chabad. WCI3's Sarah Lehman is with us. Sarah, you sat down with the rabbi there about how that conversation went. Yeah, I did, and the rabbi tells me it was a good, open, and honest conversation. He says they aren't just forgetting and excusing what happened, but he says it is an opportunity for Leonard to learn and grow. It happened just about a year ago. It's most certainly the hardest time of my life. When former U of I basketball player and NBA player Myers Leonard was recorded saying an anti-Semitic slur while playing a video game online. Since then, he says he's been working to correct the mistake. It hurt me to know that I had, you know, made such a mistake as it pertained to my character. Um, you know, I can deal with over the years, oh, Myers Leonard stinks at basketball or this or that, but the one that hurt the most was an, an attack on my character. And I, and I certainly made a very, very big mistake. And I have over the last, however long since the incident, most certainly taken the steps to educate myself to um, be in the Jewish community to learn from leaders, to sit with rabbis, to have Shabbat dinners, to, um, you know, deliver meals during Passover. When he was in Champaign, they set up an event at the Illini Chabad. Rabbi Dovi Tektel says when the incident happened, he had several students come to him and say they were hurt. That's why he knew it was important to have Leonard visit and open up that dialogue with him. This is a teaching moment. Our job in life is not just to be angry people. With hundreds watching the teaching moment, the open dialogue happened. Tactile says he feels the whole thing was positive and Leonard was vulnerable. He could have came, met a few students around the table and then a photo op and leave. He stayed for a very long time and I feel that he's very authentic about it. I do feel that he's in a lot of pain. I do feel that it's the middle of a journey. He says he hopes this isn't only a teaching lesson for Leonard, but for everyone. He says people shouldn't immediately excuse someone if they do something like this, but they should give them the time to correct and apologize. And on the other hand, he says if you're caught up in something like this, you can learn it's better to face the fire than try to hide what you've done and pretend it didn't happen. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you. The